We're just about ready for the inaugural running of the Breeders' Cup steeplechase. The field is on the course here in Northeastern Maryland. Even the NBC Peacock is on the run today, but the favorite in this race is not. Don Crickey with Richard Pittman. Earlier, Flatterer, the odds-on favorite. The American horse was scratched. He came out of the barn lame this morning, and now, Richard, that means this field of 11 from five countries is wide open. Everybody has a shot. Indeed, it does. The only thing is the jumping. The European horses and the Asian horse jump a little bit higher and slower. I've seen Gakko, the French horse school, a little bit hesitantly. Kesslin from UK has a big chance now. Now we're going to take a brief look at the course, the most interesting course it is. As you see, the odds now, they've changed with the favorite now out of the race. And a lot of people have a real good shot at this one, the field down to 11. All the horses will be carrying 156 pounds. There are nine horses in the race. There are two mares. They'll carry 153. And let's look at the course, Richard. Yes, in fact, the course, two miles and three eighths and uh, 16 fences to go. I think they'll be fairly well grouped to start with, but when they go around this first sharp turn, they'll start to jockey for position down the back straight. Round to seven, and then they've got to do it all over again. There's, uh, this is where they'll start to spread out, and you can see that the action will really unravel itself. Now for the call of the race, and here's Tony Bentley. And thank you, Don. The flag is up, and they're up, and Gecko on the inside goes for the early lead as they move to fence number one. That's Gacko first over. Turtlehead is next. Kesslin on the inside. Then comes Aramite, now Census on the outside. And they've changed a bit as they come to fence number two. It's Turtlehead. Turtlehead first over. Census is right there. Mr. Asia, the New Zealand horse, up on the outside as they come by the stands. They go under the wire three times in this race. And Turtlehead has the lead, Mr. Asia in second. Census is next, Aramite on the inside, Gakko right there on the outside. Then comes Joe Broke, he's racing in seventh. Next is Pondaloo, the Irish mare winning Nora on the outside. Then comes Calenco and Pally Rose, trails down the back straight. This is fence number three. It's Turtlehead by a length and a quarter. Mr. Asia in second, Census is third, a length and a quarter. Kesslet in fourth, Aramite fifth on the inside, Gakko is sixth. Joe Broke next, racing in seventh, winning Norna is next. Pondaloo, Alan Cohen, Pale Rose, and these 11 are tightly punched, and there was a follow, it was Mr. Asia. Mr. Asia was a follow as they move into that far turn now. And after the spill, Gakko has gained on the outside to challenge Turtlehead, but it's still Turtlehead with the lead. Gakko is next, now Census in third. Gap by the length and a half now. Pondaloo on the outside and Kesslin. Once again, Mr. Asia was a faller. As they move into the straight now, this is the seventh of 16. And down the straight, Census and Turtlehead. Our heads apart for the lead. Gatko now on the outside, that challenge. As they come by us now, they've got two more under the wire to go. This is jump number eight, and it's Turtlehead. Heads apart with Census and Gatko. Aramite is next. The field all jumping well as they come by us now. Yes, in fact, the French mare on the outside on is going very well. To go. You can see that she's jumping faster it's than she has before. The They've just got one complete on circuit as they go Turtle under the wire next. now. And the whole then field within Kessler striking distance. The last at the moment is the grey from Florida. France and uh, Palais Rose, this one. But this is the way it runs. As they go around the bend into the back straight, this is where the race really quickens up. And you can see now they're just beginning to stretch, but the back markers are trying to get back in the race. Kesslin fourth ahead, winning Norda the mare on the outside in fifth. Then it's Joe Broke racing sixth. Pondaloo on the inside seventh. Aramite is eighth. Palais Rose now gains a bit and Callan Coach fails. And oh, down the back straight for the last time. Can senses hang on for the United States here? Gatko the French challenger on the outside. Turtlehead is next and Pondaloo now on the inside. Aramite is next. And into the far turn now, they bunch up for the lead. There's Gakko on the outside, challenging. Census still hangs on to it, though. Turtlehead is next, and Pondaloo on the inside. Round that far turn they go. Census now opens up a bit of daylight. Census by two and a half. 
total head is next Gesslin on the outside. Gacko is dropped back now. Top of the straight now. Three fences to go. And it senses with the lead. Gesslin on the outside is next. They've got two to go now. Census has it by a half. On the outside, Kesslin challenges now. Turtle head is next, then comes Condalou. Now, one to go. Senses, Kesslin on the outside now. Less than a furlong to go. In the Breeders' Cup, keep the chase. Senses, can he hang on for the United States? He's got it by two and a half. Kesslin on the outside next. Condalou on the inside. They're in the final 60 for the mile. With Senses. Senses with Jeff Jr. aboard. He's going to win the Breeders' Cup, keep the chase. Senses of the United States wins it. Kesslin was next. And uh, on the loop, finish third, back to you, Don and Richard. Thank you, Tony. So with Flatter out of the race, Census, considered second only to Flatter among the top U.S. steeplechasers, is the victor in this inaugural Breeders' Cup steeplechase. He Very did. strong run, Richard Pittman. Well, he'd be bang up with the leaders most of the way. He was keeping out of the trouble and jumped beautifully. But a great run from the British, British horse, Kessler. Now you can see the big white face there of Census. He, you've seen that for a long time. On the inside, in the grey colours, Pondaloo coming with a, a nice challenge there. But Kessler is on the outside. Census, he asked for a big one at the last, and he gets it. Very quick with the whip as they go for home here. Jeff Teeter, he's not going to make any mistakes. It's a big prize on offer. Kesslin trying to challenge, but he's not going to get there. It's a short run in for this, the inaugural running of the Breeders' Cup steeplechase. And at the end, it looks like a two and a half victory for the home side with Census from Kesslin. One horse went down during the race. The jockey and the horse were all right, apparently all right. Yes, and it's Mr. Asia there in the green colours on the outside of the leading two. He's going well at this point. He's the New Zealand bred. He chanced it. He took off a long, long way, and I'm afraid he paid the penalty. We can see it from the head on. He's in the middle of the field, dark green colours. You can see the look on his face. He knew when he took off he wasn't going to be on his legs when he stood. But uh, the horse is following on from behind. Very, very lucky to avoid that. And Pondaloo, who finished third, was one of the horses who actually jumped that fallen horse, Mr. Asia. So nicely done. A very dramatic development earlier today when Flatter, the odds-on favorite, perhaps the greatest American steeplechaser of all time, went down, came out of the barn this morning lame, and Census went to the top of the odds makers board and indeed did come home the victor in this inaugural running of the Breeders' Cup steeplechase. Census the winner, Kesselin was the second finisher, and his entry mate Pondaloop finished third. And the time, Richard, an excellent one of 4.27 and 3. Yes, it looked quite, fairly good. And one thing we haven't mentioned, the winner was trained by a lady, Janet Elliott. So isn't that marvelous? Yes, a victory for the distaff side. A big, strong Bay Gelding wins the race, but he was trained by an English-born lady, and Janet Elliott perhaps is the happiest of the 20,000 here today. We'll be back with the official results in a talk with the winning trainer. Right now, back to Santa Anita. So the richest ever steeplechase race won by Census and Jeff Teeter, and now the special.